coming up in this edition of Rock 11 Now Weekly. Rockville voters will make history this election by voting by mail. We have the information you need to know. Plus, RCPD provides some safety tips for buyers and sellers looking to complete an online purchase. And one neighborhood is empowered to make a difference thanks to a city grant. We'll tell you about it. More news, more often, right now. This is Rock 11 Now Weekly, so let's get into it. Rockville voters will make history this November by voting by mail for the next mayor and council. And we want to make sure you stay informed about the process of voting and even becoming a candidate. Head to rockvillemt.gov election to check your address to make sure you live within Rockville city limits. Update your information and register to vote. You can also register to vote in person at Rockville City Hall on Maryland Avenue, a public library, or at a U.S. Post Office, or a Maryland Motor Vehicle Administration's office. You can even register by phone at 240-777-VOTE or 240-777-8500. You may also want to know how secure is vote by mail. Rest assured that every step in the ballot process is protected, starting with the ballot being sent in a secured envelope. And once you cast your ballot, it is stored in a secured ballot box. And if you're wondering how you can become a candidate in this year's elections, applications are being accepted right now at rockvillemd.gov election. The deadline to file is Thursday, September 5th. Rockville is the first city in Maryland to use voting by mail as its main method of voting. Rockville's election is on Tuesday, November 5th. The City of Rockville is recognized as a bicycle-friendly community and is committed to encouraging bicycling for all residents. Registering your bike with the Rockville City Police Department makes it more likely that it can be recovered should it be lost or stolen. We recover probably 100 bicycles a year that we can't get back to owners. Some of these bicycles can cost up to $3,000. Most owners don't keep track of the information once they start riding the bike. So if they don't register it with the information that's on the bike and they don't have the bike, they can't figure out how to prove that it's theirs. To register your bike, either visit the Rockville City Police Station at 2 West Montgomery Avenue or go online to rockvillemd.gov slash bicycling. Provide the serial number, the make and model, any unique features or markings, and even upload photos of your bike. Once registered, bike owners are given a small sticker to attach to the bike frame, a diagram showing where to place the sticker, and information on how to keep your bike safe and secure. For Rock 11 Now Weekly, I'm Craig Buchanan. Still to come on Rock 11 Now Weekly, empowered to communicate. One neighborhood uses the Community Empowerment Grant to keep its residents informed. We'll tell you how, right after this. Well, buying locally, you, you get a lot fresher fruit, and, and also you actually know where it came from and who handled your fruit, and food safety is a big issue in some things. And, uh, we just enjoy doing what we're doing, getting up and you actually see what you've done and, and you're serving the public with good fresh fruit. Farmers markets, you, you can also meet a different people uh, from different areas and, and different cultures and that way you can bring the fresh fruit right to them and they can enjoy the same thing we can here at home. Hello, I'm Major England of the Rockville City Police Department. The Rockville City Police Department wants to prevent you from becoming a victim of a theft. When buying or selling items online, here are a few important tips to keep you safe when completing your transactions in person. Ask questions before going to buy an item. If the seller can't answer questions, there's a strong possibility they may not actually have the item and could be looking to commit a crime. Consider not buying from sellers who only list an email address. This could be a sign that the seller has something to hide. 
Request a telephone number and be cautious if they refuse. Remember, if you need to report suspicious activity, please call the Rockville City Police Department at 240-314-8900. A Rockville neighborhood takes advantage of the Community Empowerment Grant and uses it to help keep its residents informed. The East Rockville Civic Association applied for the grant to build a neighborhood notice box so information can be shared throughout their community. The Community Empowerment Grants could be used for community building projects, community improvement projects, and livability initiatives. If you receive the Community Empowerment Grant, let us know. Just email us at rockville11 at rockvillemd.gov. That's going to do it for this edition of Rock 11 Now Weekly. Remember, you can check out the latest happenings on our online newsletter at rockvillereports.com. And join in on the conversation and check out our posts by signing up for Nextdoor at nextdoor.com. And keep up with Rockville 11 by subscribing to our City of Rockville YouTube channel. And you can follow us on Twitter at Rockville 11, on Instagram at city underscore of underscore Rockville, and like us on Facebook. For the entire Rockville 11 team, I'm Kathy Dantzler. Until next week, Rockville.